Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oliz and welcome back, finally, to Gregan Skies 2. Yeah, so last time, what did we do? We did a whole bunch of quests last time, um, got a bunch of different things set up, and I think we were messing around with the smell tree a little bit. I know we had Nidirium in here, uh, we were doing some automatic uh, sifting. I think, think, I honestly don't remember what all we were doing. I do know that we set up an area to try to get some passive mobs to spawn. And that's, that's not really been going all that well. Um, so, so, yeah, we're going to have to figure something else out. Uh, and luckily, I already did. Right, so, uh, one thing, I did chop down that big tree that was standing there uh, last episode. If you come over here... You'll see I put all of those leaves. I actually brought in our shears. Uh, we're at 43 dirt already. Uh, we're going to use a lot of that today. So I'm actually going to take that. And yeah. So uh, I'm also eating seed soup. Uh, might, as well show you, might as well show you how I make this. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, that's why I started making it. Uh, basically all you need is a potato. And then three seeds. Three seeds each one. Then a pot. Um, pot and potato gives you stock use, and then stock, then seeds and the pot gives you seed soup. Um, it's not a bad meal. It's easy enough to make though. That's that's why I did it. Uh, so so yeah, food is starting to become an issue, um, which is why I built this little platform. Uh, I have a little section right here which we're gonna put some water down. Uh, and then, actually I can go ahead and do that. So we'll put some water down here, and we're going to put some dirt as well. So, whoops, not quite like that. Quite like, um, so basically we're going to just put a bunch of source blocks. That should be good. Uh, uh, we're just gonna do a bunch of dirt um, right here for right now. As we need to, we can replace the dirt. But this is but this be my uh, my farming area, my uh, agricraft central area. Uh, can I break this without this ring? Yes, I can. Cool. Uh, so yeah, that's what that is. Let's put this in here. And I do have an uncommon treasure on me. Uh, I killed a zombie. I got a couple of the quests completed with the mob hunters. I did the the brain bashing and the zombie attack once again. Um, they were pretty simple, just killing mobs in there. So let's see what is in here. We got another fragment, an ender pearl, splash potion of harming. Uh, not bad. Let's put this stuff in here. Uh, the ender pearl will keep on me. I've been getting a little bit of mossy cobblestone from this guy. Uh, it's almost out of water. Once it's out of water, it won't actually spread any mossy cobblestone anywhere, so keep that in mind. But otherwise, uh, that's going just fine. So today, uh, originally I had wanted to, or I had planned to expand on the automatic sifting thing. Um, I don't think we're going to do that today. Power is... Honestly, power is kind of an issue right now. So I want to get some more power, and I want to get the food situation under control. Um, so that is going to be the two priorities today. Uh, the other thing is I do want to try to get some animals, and that brings me to one last thing. Uh, so I was looking in my base and remembered we have this chest of special stuff including a spawn cow and some eggs so we're gonna hope um, the cow is actually gonna be good enough uh, we need the cow for more cows basically uh, I would like not to use all of these I don't know if there's any way to get more uh, of the the cows and stuff I don't think now these quests don't seem to give you, uh, it's just a matter of killing them. So until I'm ready, 
to start a major farm. I don't really want to use up too many uh, of these spawn eggs, but let's hope. Ah, uh, I was hoping. So we could spawn a cow. Let's go ahead and spawn a cow, and they are uh, dangerous. They are hostile. That's why he's behind the fence. Let's go ahead and milk him. We can still do that. Mm. So I believe it is under Sky Farm. Um, we need to make fresh milk. Mm. And we'll get another spawn cow egg, which is good. So I can go ahead and claim that reward. I'm going to keep him there. I'm going to put the other spawn cow egg uh, back where I... Uh, back in my safety chest. And we'll keep that cow there for now. Uh, eventually we will have a nice little farm area for all of our animals, um, breeding them and all that fun stuff. So that is that quest. So let's see, did that unlock anything? Of course not. Um, I really, really, really need to get into agricraft stuff. Um, I don't think we have any more eggs and I don't know of any good ways to get more. Uh, which which is a shame. Um, sifting dirt. I look at the usage. Uh, sifting dirt any good. Uh, will give me some like cactus and stuff like that, but not really anything that I need right now. So let's see what else we can get, because what I am trying to do is we need to get the agricultural journal. Journal, and if we look at the recipe for it. Uh, it requires a book and quill, and we don't have the feather, and we honestly don't have the uh, ink either. So that's two things that we don't have. It's going to make it really difficult to make uh, a book and quill. So, And there's no other way to make this, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so that is the, the sticking point. So I guess we could go around and look for... Um, there might be a quest that has that as a reward. Um, but I don't think there is, unfortunately. So unless there's something in learning to skyblock, um, I don't believe, <sighs> let's see, that will give us um, berry bushes. We need to go to the nether. I believe there's somebody in the nether, but I don't really want to go there quite yet. Uh, this is something we're working towards. Uh, we need to get a ball of moss. And I believe that's eight. Yeah, it's eight. Uh, or no, nine. Uh, sorry. Nine moss stone. We are at seven. <laughs> Just making sure there wasn't more. Uh, so, yeah, we need to get more mobs to spawn and really need to get food situated so i guess the plan is going to be for right now uh what i want to do is start getting power as well so we were trying to make this uh solar panel one last time and we just need some silver uh which i did go ahead and smell out a lot of ores we have one more silver that we can use um, if we have all of this, start grinding this up. I'm going to take all of this stuff out and put it in here. Cool. So, um, we need to get a piece of platinum. I noticed there's a quest for that in the Tinker Toys. Uh, if we could do more of this, it'd be kind of cool. So we need to get one shiny ingot, um, which we just need a few more platinums for. Uh, unfortunately, I, because I derped and uh, I made a bunch of Enderium. Uh, I kind of don't have any more Platinum. So that's a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. This will help this uh, run a little bit better. But if we look at this, uh, the mirrors, we need some more glass. And that's pretty much it for this, qu this uh, quest, which is in Power Grid. Uh, and having the solar panel is going to help just kind of basic making uh, making power. 
Dang it. I hate it when the mods don't include that. Uh, the, there's usually a mod that will include a recipe that changed uh, slabs back into planks, but this one doesn't include it. It's kind of a bummer, but oh well. Uh, let's put the blizzards down below. I don't know why I have a wooden door down here, but I do. I guess we can take this back up here. Not in there. Uh, let's actually put it in here. So, yeah, what is it we need? We need glass, and I don't have any glass. So we're gonna have to hammer out some cobblestone. Uh, just three pieces. One, two, and three. Uh, can I put torches? No. All right, and then gravel into sand. We'll get that going, and then we're going to need uh, five planks and a uh, piece of redstone, which we have over here. We have 19, plenty. Um, fortunately, we're not getting any uh, platinum. Platinum is fairly rare. Uh, so let's grab, once the glass is done, wow, that timing be able to make two more mirrors redstone and the oak and there's our first solar panel um, go ahead and claim that reward what this is going to allow us to do is I can come right over here uh, this produces two RF per tick uh, when it is sunny so what I can come over here and do is just put this on top and uh, if it was day I'm gonna go ahead and make it day uh, then I will go ahead and get a bit more RF per tick uh, it's not that much but it is going to be enough to kind of help me um, those are relatively easy to make uh, honestly I can make another solar panel fairly quickly uh, and then you use uh, eight of them plus a uh, coil to make the next tier and then after that it gets more complicated but uh, you can make them fairly high tiered uh, six produces 4,000 RF per tick which is not too bad uh, so let's come over here and figure out kind of our next step so we have some other engines and stuff we can make ooh this is gonna give us a solar panel 2 iron rotor and Flux windmill base. So an iron rotor is pretty easy. Um, and then a flux windmill base. 10. That we can do. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do that just to get this the higher the next tier solar panel. Um, so we have a machine frame here. Uh, what is the recipes for these? Oh yeah, that's actually a really easy recipe. Um, we're gonna need everything else over here. So let's go ahead and make that, just because, why not? Um, so it's a piece of silver, it's gonna be 210. Uh, we'll just take a block of iron, and we're gonna need some redstone. So let's go ahead and pick up this guy. I'm gonna put him on this one because I'm not going to use it as much um, I am going to go ahead and do that so see the iron rotor is just like so um, now I don't know much about RF windmill uh, this this mod I really don't know anything about it to be honest so we might have to look into it a little bit um, but there's the windmill um, so, while not incredibly powerful, it's easy to get. Turbine will only produce energy if it is above Y60, um, and produces max energy at Y100. Two parts turbine and rotor. Uh, turbine determines how much it can generate, while the rotor determines how efficient it is. Sneak right click the turbine to find, to find out how much power it is. Basic can provide 4 hours for tick and stores up to 16. Okay. So, I mean, we are at, I mean, it says on the side, we're at Y62, 
So I could just go ahead and put, uh, I don't know where to put this right now. Let's just put it right here. And I don't know how to add this. Um, sneak and right click the turbine to find out. How, yeah. Uh, is there a usage? No. Alright, so I really don't want to lose this, so let's get some cobblestone. Let's actually go ahead and break this. And, alright, good. <laughs> I didn't want to lose that, because um, I really don't know how to get it to work. I don't know if it needs to be like, let's just try something. Do something like this. Ah, there we go. So it's going to produce RF. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and pick that up. Now my question is, is that a... Um, it does look like we need to have clearance. How much? That is what I want to know. Uh, do something like that. So, okay, you just need to have a block in front of it. Okay. So, we'll put that somewhere for right now. Um, I'm not gonna use it. But let's go ahead and put this in. We have a bunch of coal. Five in here, four in there. Uh, this is more efficient, so I get a lot more RF out of each piece of coal, but uh, it's not nearly as powerful as this generator. So that's why I'm using both. Uh, we have three diamonds, wow. All right, let's take a look at the quest book. Uh, let's go ahead and claim that reward. So what's here? Uh, electrum and flux reinforced. Ew. That is going to take some signalum, and we don't have that yet. Can I get destabilized redstone? Um, colored blocks of redstone. And, okay, cool. If the temperature is high enough. Uh, I don't think it is. So uh, let's go ahead and put the solar panel to right there. Um, that's producing 32 RF per tick, which is much more than this ever will need. So, cool, we don't really have to worry about power with that. Um, we'll expand the order operation relatively soon, probably in the next episode. But let's go ahead, and it looks like we have just one more cobblestone. Um, so we're just going to wait on that, uh, not like stand there and wait, but we'll get to it soon enough. Um, so let's take a look at the quest book and see if there's anything we can do uh, to try to unlock some stuff. Um, so there's the culinary generator, that's going to give us some pizzas, um, steam dynamo, unlock, uh, looks like it's going to unlock flux ducts and then uh, the energy cells. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. So we have seven quests in here. Um, this unlocks something else where... And... We need to go to the nether at some point. I really don't want to go to the nether. Uh, but I don't think the nether is that bad in this mod pack. Uh, can we get super item frame and super void frame? Let's take a look. Uh, so super... Um, crafting frame we already made. Uh, the item frame requires a dispenser, we can do that. And then the void requires an in pro. All right, we can do both of those. So let's break that like I always do. And let's get some logs. 
we're going to turn that into a little bit of sticks. Uh, and we need, I'm going to put that back. I don't really want to use it, to be honest. Um, I'm going to end up moving that relatively soon. So we need a piece of redstone, and that's pretty much it. So we need to do a dispenser, and then there's the item frame, and then the void frame. So the item frame um, acts like a barrel for the item displayed in it. So basically turns any uh, inventory into a singular um, item storage. And then the void frame is trash can, which is something I don't really want to use. But we're going to get some iron and some pumpkin pie for that. And, ooh, auto packager. This is something that's good. This is something we, we're going to want fairly soon. So let's take a look at how to make this packager. Um, three pistons. Yuck. Uh, redstone reception coil. We can do all this, actually. So... We need five, yes. And then a bunch of iron, we do need a piece of gold and some more wood. So we need 12 wood, I think. So that should be enough, plus uh, the crafting bench, because I forgot about that. So let's come over here and let's start crafting. So one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. Need three pistons and then the redstone reception coil. Uh, we need a crafting table, and that's pretty much it. So we should be able to get this and quest completed. So we got some copper gears and a dragon fruit sapling. Um, so this block is super important. Um, basically, it will for the cost of a little bit of RF, take items in one inventory, so for example, all of this type of stuff, and if that can be crafted in a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three, um, with itself, so for example, um, powdered iron can be crafted in a 2x2. Two two. Uh, diamonds, lapis, all that can be crafted in a 3x3 three three to make um, the block forms. The auto packager will do that automatically. Um, with every item it can in one chest and put it to another chest for honestly not that much RF. Um, it's actually pretty cheap on power. So, yeah, that's something we're going to be using very, very soon uh, to set up the uh, automated ore. Um, we'll have to get some flux stuck. Not, uh, we'll have to get some flux ducts. So we'll have to get into the power grid quest a little bit more. We'll do the uh, steam dynamo. That shouldn't be too difficult. In fact, let's take a look at it. I know I said we were gonna do power, but, or not power, I, we were gonna do um, farming, but got sidetracked. So we need two copper gears. All right, we are gonna need some silver and then copper. That's pretty much it. So let's grab, um, let's grab a block, and we need three. So there's that. We need a piece of silver. We need three redstone, I do believe, and. I think we can go ahead and make the steam dynamo. Yeah, it was easy. Um, and then we have to make the upgrades. So there's augments for that. Um, you know what, we're gonna do that another time. Um, just so I can do some more sifting and all that fun stuff off camera. Uh, so we're gonna put that in here. And let's go ahead and start doing a little bit of work with our uh, farm area. So. We have pumpkin pies we can eat. They're not super good, but they're not bad. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to start growing a couple of different things. Um, I want an oak sapling and an apple. 
Um, we're gonna get a couple of fruit trees uh, planted out into out here. Um, we're gonna want some bone meal. And that's pretty much it for right now. So cool. That was nice of the skeleton to drop its bone like in the middle of the, the path. So we are going to come out here for a moment. And this looks like a good area. We're gonna just put down a piece of dirt, bone meal twice, and we have dragon fruit. Um, we're gonna do something similar here for the apple tree. Um, I'm just gonna water it. It'll grow here in a moment. There we go. Um, and I can chop down this apple tree now. Don't need it anymore, so just do that. Oh, I hate it. I hate the Tinker Tools when they do that. Um, with Tinker Tools, if you right click, um, more or less when you can't use it uh the item so for example the, an axe if you right click it doesn't do anything uh typically but if you have something in your other like in the next slot on the right um it will try to use that so i end up placing dirt right right clicking dirt because um i right click with my axe so that's a, an annoyance of mine. I, I don't like t that Tinker's Constructs does that, but it's whatever. All right, so I'm trying to think of what we should be doing right now. Um, something I need to do is we're going to grow a bunch of potatoes. Uh, let's do six. So basically we're just going to come over here for right now and this is where we're going to grow potatoes um, and the reason we're going to grow these potatoes right here is one I'm putting in this configuration so I can easily bone mill them but if we get a decent amount of potatoes we can start looking into um, making more seed soup. Uh, potatoes are the one of the best ways to do that. Uh, the other way to make stock is with bones. And there's one other way. Um, it is oh um, meat of some sort, but potatoes and there's a bunch of different um, vegetables that will pretty much anything that's a ground vegetable, um, something that grows in the ground. I believe a like, carrots. I don't believe are one, but there there's quite a few. Uh, so let us take a look. I am trying to stay away from where the cow is just to hopefully get something else to spawn. Let's get like four potatoes and a bunch of seeds. And we'll get some more food. All right, so let's take a look at our sifting operation and see if we have any platinum. If we do, we can complete some more quests. Doesn't look like we have any. So let's get more cobblestone in here. Um, unfortunately, we're not getting any platinum. I don't know if there's a good way. Uh, it's a 1% chance from uh, dust. 1% from sand. Is it in stone that's going to be the best? It's a 5% from in stone. That might be the best choice. Yeah. In stone is the way to go with that. So let's take a look at some quests and see what all we have available to us. Um, so there's a. We need to make the aqueous accumulator at some point. I'll uh, worry about that later. Um, blazes we can't do until we get um, a decent amount of soul sand which I can craft over there but it's kind of slow because it's manual um, once we get a little bit more in terms of uh, space once I build out a little bit more and get a little bit more technology going um, we should be able to automate that pretty easily 
um, we need to get a bunch of um, we need to do the topiary grass which is uh, topiary grass I believe it seeds around yeah it seeds around grass um, you can use this to sift and we need to get the tiger wood sapling but there's a bunch of different um, natura saplings and then the berry bushes from natura uh, that's how you get those I don't know if that's gonna be worth it to us to do or not but we'll figure it out later uh, sky farm we got to make the presser and the kitchen stuff but neither of those are gonna give us what we want which is the book and quill so there's got to be something somewhere that'll give us a book and quill um, I'm not seeing anything I wonder if I somewhat of a spoiler I know there's somebody in the nether uh, and I did take a look at um, JD cat uh, who is sitting down here in our base um, there is some trades we can do uh, we can get cows and sheep and mushrooms um, if we have some sort of item uh, I think we might want to go ahead and like get a bucket of milk and store it or something um, but we'll worry about that when if we use the other spawn egg if we only have one spawn egg that means we cannot get any more cows um, easily anyways so I do know that there's another person in the nether so we should probably go talk to them here soon uh, let's see sky farm we looked at that uh, tinker toys if we can get platinum we're gonna unlock more quests and we can kind of look at that um, man of steel and signalum signalum is going to be a pain uh, for right now until we can get a few more things uh, looks like there's some other uh, metals it might ask us to do and then steel uh, we need to get two steel ingots which we will be able to do relatively soon once we get the induction smelter uh, storage wars there's a lot of storage stuff but I was looking through the quests and there's not really any um, that look like they're gonna give us uh, the uh, like a chicken egg or anything like that which is what I'm looking for um, culinary generator a lot of this stuff um, we need to do more but so I completed that we need to get hardened machine frame uh, most of the stuff I don't care about too much uh, we are going to need to make a pulverizer that's gonna give us redstone ore that's nice and then we're gonna have to make a fissure at some point that's gonna be helpful to get more stuff um, I believe these will also um, it, it will also give you a lot of different items other than just fish so oh uh, that's right because you can I believe you can fish up plastic bags which you can smelt down for plastic uh, mob hunter not really much we can do with this other than spiders but um, I don't believe we can do the iron spikes quite yet we could I think but I think it's a little expensive uh, let's take a look yeah it's a little expensive it's cheaper if we make wooden spike that's something we could do so we'll, we'll see about that um, mystical blood uh, we need to make blood altar and sacrificial orb uh, these are things we can actually do and that um, but I don't really want to get into that quite yet uh, cobblestone a lot of stuff we can work towards but not really anything I want to do quite yet uh, just because there is a lot of work um, to do to get set up uh, and that's it so uh, no more quests there but yeah so it, it, there's a lot of things to do to get set up I really need to get animals to spawn I wonder if the biome is the problem I don't know that things spawn in oceans um, but this is a stone beach ow 
bad cow. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the, the cows will hurt you. All the animals will. Um, let's do something real quick. Um, I'm going to make an item. Um, we need some gold. Uh, so let's do this. We need some gold nuggets, so we just need one piece of gold. We'll get um, four gold nuggets. We're going to need a piece of blaze powder. We're going to need to come over here and grab a ender pearl. Uh, I did get a mentor heart. I got some armor. Uh, this is actually really useful. I'm going to wear it. Uh, one, this gives me attack damage. And this gives me speed. Um, so that's going to be nice just to get around my base. Uh, so we make an Eye of Ender. And then I don't actually know if this is going to work. Ooh, we have our uh, the last of our cobble the mossy cobblestone that we need. So uh, we can make two things. So let's go ahead and make the ball of moss real quick. And that should be a quest um, in learning the sky block. And it's going to give us another ball of moss. Uh, we'll use one of those here in a moment. And then I want four string. We're going to make a golden lasso. And hopefully this works. I don't actually know if it will. Uh, I want to repair my, uh, my pick. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, just put the, the repair on it. So let's see if this works. It should, but it might not. Because uh, I don't know how these uh, the animals are considered. Um, and I don't know if the golden lasso will work. It tries, but it doesn't. Uh, that's a bummer. Can Okay, so there is another way I could capture the cow. That's what the golden lasso does, by the way. If you don't know, um, it will pick up uh, non-hostile mobs. So that's why it doesn't work. It wants to because cows are typically non-hostile, but it just doesn't. So the other way is doable. Um, I think I have leather. If not, I should have a way to get leather. No. I know there's a quest that gives you leather. I don't know if we have any right now. Uh, let's see. Because we have the string, we have a slime ball. But I don't believe we have any leather. So we can't move the cow. Um, what we can do, other than killing it, uh, we could easily kill the cow, but I don't want to. No platinum. So what we can do is we can try to um, isolate it a little bit more. If it stays out of my way. Ow. Bad cow. Um, Alright, so I should be able to get in here. Pick the torch. I'm going to do this. And let's kind of just do something like this. I want to see what biome is over here. Uh, and plus expanding is not a bad idea. Um, back to the ocean. So we need to figure out what biome is over here to see if um, we can get a biome that will spawn um, chickens or pigs or sheep or anything else. Okay, this is a really weird biome. Um, and I'm pretty much out of cobblestone. So, yeah. Um, yeah, because the stone beach is here, but then ocean. 
Yeah, there's oceans all around me. Uh, so I might have to do a little bit of building, just to expand uh, expansions. Try to find. Uh, there might actually be a hotkey or something to press to see biomes. Uh, I'm not sure. There might be an item. Let's just look up biome and see if there is anything. Uh, habitat locator. Bronze around redstone. Uh, now I don't know how to set this, but it might be something we want to make. Uh, it's not that expensive, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so bronze round redstone and can we find um, we need honey <laughs> of course so what's it saying um, current okay just talking about the current so if we can get some honey we might be able to do something with this so that might be something we want to look into uh, relatively soon. I do believe that if we look at our quest book um, in the bees and trees there is if we make all the basic uh, forestry machines we'll get some honeycombs and a bee laser um, but the honeycombs would give us honey so that might be something we want to do uh, otherwise I'll probably look up the best way to get more mob spawning um, I have a feeling it is the biome I don't know that any animals, passive mobs, will spawn in the stone beach. Uh, so we'll have to find somewhere else to get them to spawn. But anyways, I think next time I'm going to expand a little bit. And we're going to work on uh, a bit of an automatic uh, sifting operation uh, and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know we didn't do all that much, but we did get a lot done. Um, and I finally have food. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to work a little bit off camera, and next time we will do some ore processing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!